Hello and welcome everyone, I'm John RMS, aka Ace Bullion, and today I have a really exciting video. Now, this one is mine. I've already bought this one, so it's mine. I'm telling you that full disclosure ahead of time, so you don't think that this is a biased you know, opinion or whatever. Now, this coin was sent to me by the Silver Trader, and uh, with that, obviously, I'm here to review it. Uh, but I liked it so much, I bought it before the review, so that kind of gives you an indication of my own personal thoughts. But let me criticize it, critique it, and show you guys what I mean. Now, as I'm sure you can see from the title up above, that this is the Royal Australian Mints Fraser's Dolphin. So, without further ado, we're going to flip over, whoops, gonna flip over to the queen side first and uh, have a good look. Now, <clears throat> immediately you're going to see my, what I normally call the dreaded coin. This is the type of coin I normally would stay clear of only because it's so matte around the finish. It's so easy to scratch these and uh, have issues with that. But that being said, as I said, I have bought it. Now, I don't usually like these matte finishes. Um, most companies are buying, you know, planchets, blanks, and then producing, you know, the coins through presses and all sorts of stuff. Um, you know, it's just one of those things. Uh, so I think when we look on the side of milking and everything else, it's probably done before it hits the mints. Uh, after the mints, it's a case of, you know, how they handle stuff. Some are better than others, but here we go. So, the queen, there she is. Crown, earrings, and her necklace. No, I'm sorry, this is a bit dusty. It's uh, clearly been sitting. But uh, you can see with the background how it's a little bit stickled. Um, you see, like right above where my uh, fingernail is, right here, it's a bit stickled. Now, that's one of the reasons I usually stay clear of these, but there we are. Um, as I said, it's a lovely, lovely coin. And uh, no doubt you're going to recognize this famous signature right there. JC. Yeah. Jody Clark. So it's been added again, making things. We have a $1 face value. It has 2021 Queen Elizabeth II, Australia. That's really about it. One of the downsides in it is that in this capsule, it's a little bit loose. You can hear it. So you need to take care, especially with this matted finish. And anyway, let's have a good look at the dolphin, with dolphins. So we have Frazier's dolphins above, and then we have one ounce, three nines, fine silver. Now, I'm pretty sure you can see what has attracted me to this coin straight away. I think the detailing is amazing. Now, this is the third coin in the series, and I haven't bothered with the first couple um, that I'm aware of. I may have, because I have a lovely, I have a large set of dolphins and aquatic animals, but um, that's the reason really I bought this. It's gonna sit amongst all of my other aquatic animals. It's a scuba diver, you know, patty registered. It's, uh, it's something I do love to see. And, you know, not far away from me here, we can swim with dolphins, we can swim with uh, seals and sea lions uh, and all sorts of stuff. It's really, really lovely. So it's something I do like. And, uh, you know, with my back and everything, being neutrally buoyant in the water is, it's literally out of this world. But enough about that. Let's have a look at the coin. So we have a sunset or sunrise. I think it's more sunset. Um, that's the way I like to view it. And I like the um, toning in the background here, uh, toning, the matting in the background here, how it fades in. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's a deliberate act. And then we have here these lovely uh, bottlenose dolphins. And I mean, they really, really are lovely. They're just absolutely gorgeous um they're splashing and you know coming out of the water uh just jumping you know for the fun of it really it's uh it's what they do 
Uh, they can either be really friendly, by the way, or really vicious. <laughs> so don't let that fool you. And then we got the, the ocean here, and, and that's pretty much what the ocean is like, um, at least in my experience, uh, for diving-wise. This is the type of water that they thrive in, that they're having fun in, um, that they're being playful. And that's the best time to catch them is when they're kind of being playful. Um, if you can, uh, if you ever get a chance to go scuba diving, that is something that is amazing. Um, again, just keep your distance, let them approach you, never approach them. Uh, I like as well how the, uh, the bottom dolphin here is actually running off into the coin. That's something that is really, really nice. And I think that it just, it really does make it, it, it makes the coin jump out. And everything about this really is, a scene as if you're looking through a camera lens or something to take that perfect photo and it's like plink and you got it it's just amazing at least as i said that's my opinion of it that's what led me to purchasing this coin uh, as i said i haven't bought the previous series but at the same token you know it is just lovely and uh, if I have bought the previous series, then uh, I'll stand corrected. I'll show you guys later. I'll uh, make a revision because right after this video, this is going amongst all the other dolphins. And if I see that I have the others, then you'll, you'll see an update. Now, what do you guys think? Um, is this something that you guys like? I know that there's a lot of people out here that do appreciate, you know, the aquatic life um, and also just, you know, animals and fuzzy stuff. Uh, there's other people who just prefer to stack, you know, um, kind of the constitutional side of silver um, where it's like government backed, uh, such as, you know, Britannia's or Eagles or Maples. Um, as I said, these are a specialty coin. They're not... Um, this one here isn't really a, a premium coin as such. Um, there is 25,000 as a mintage, but it's, it's not one of those that's extremely low. Um, but then again, you're not paying for that either. So <laughs> 25,000 as a mintage, absolutely. I'm happy to have it amongst my collection. I can tell you that much. I, I really do love every little bit of it. I, I just think that this is such an amazing coin. Um, but yeah, I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Um, are you buying one of these? Have you bought one already? Um, do you think it's just too plain Jane? You know, I mean, there is that as well. I mean, some people can find that these are too bland for them. Um, you know, I personally, I, I would, I, well, no, I could see some points. But I mean, you take a look here, for instance, look at the water splashing into all this detail. Um, it looks natural. It looks the way it should do. It doesn't look overly done up. So, you know, I'm really, really curious. And, uh, you know, especially with the runoff into, you know, the coin's edge here. Um, you know, I think it really is just immaculate and beautiful. I think they, they've done the sunset just right, where it's not dominating the coin or the feature. Um, these are all the reasons I bought it. But as I said, you know, the couple of reasons I don't like it are that matting on the front side. Luckily, this will be face down and in a container. I don't like the rattle. Um, by the way, it does have a reeded edge. But... Um, but apart from that, as I said, it's going to sit into a box. It's going to be in my storage and it will just be happy and, um, you know, amongst lots of other aquatic creatures. Uh, as I said, this one's mine. I bought it from Silver Trader. So please be sure to check out the link in the description down below. You'll find a link to Silver Trader, also acebullion.com or acebullion.co.uk. doesn't matter which one you type in. It'll bring you to acebullion. <laughs> And with that said, everyone, I hope you guys have a great day. Be safe. It's a blustery Monday here. So thank you for watching. Bye for now.